Hi, this is Keeley, and we're going to investigate Snell's Law, and particularly the, what is known as the critical angle, because we're going to have a beam of light go from inside our solid plastic, which is a more optically dense material, into air, which is a less optically dense material. So our solid is going to be our first medium, and air is going to be our second medium, and right now it's just passing straight through. Now we can get the measurements of the angle from the disc here and as I turn it what will happen is as light goes from a more optically dense material to a less opti optically dense material the beam of light is going to change direction and bend away from the normal. The normal is the line perpendicular to the surface and right now the beam of light is following the normal. But as I turn this we're at 10 degrees inside the material in in air we're more at about 13 degrees so as I continue to turn there's 20 degrees take your measurements determine the index refraction of our solid at 20 degrees inside the material the angle outside into air is about 28 and a half. And so as I keep turning, at some point, we reach what's known as the critical angle. And the critical angle is when the beam of light can no longer escape mater the material. And when that happens, the beam of light will actually go along the edge and then get into what we call total internal reflection. It actually will bounce back into material, even though this is transparent, it will reflect back into this material and not actually escape. So at 30 degrees, it looks like we're at 46 degrees in air, 30 degrees inside the material. And we're starting to get a little closer to that critical angle. There's 40 degrees inside the material, 70 degrees roughly in air. And here we get to, there's our critical angle. So figure out the index refraction of this solid. And if you use the angle in air to be 90 degrees, figure out this what this angle should be. We can measure it right here. But you see at this point, light no longer escapes unless I bump it. Let's put it back. Night, light no longer escapes. And it's totally reflected back into the material. And now we have law reflection. 50 degrees here, about 50 degrees there, except I bumped it and it's probably a little bit off. So we'll just have to see about that. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's the reason why. Let me fix it. There we go, that's close. Okay. So, six degrees, and I've moved my material. We get about six degrees coming out the other side. All right, so with the measurements you took, calculate. We know air is one, and then the angle is this angle over here. The index refraction of our solid, we do not know. The angle inside the solid would be this angle here on this side. Take the measurements that we did and determine what the index refraction of our solid is and then also determine what the critical angle is. That critical angle helps determine total internal reflection and that's how fiber optic cables work. Thank you for watching and please like the video. Goodbye.